welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got off school, got in my car. My bangs are a hot disaster because I have my heat on full blast, but whatever. Anyways, I realized I never made an intro for this video. So here it is. This is a video of just kind of a collaboration of pregnancy brain stories I have and just like silly little things that I've done since I've been pregnant. So yeah, enjoy this video. All right guys, it's a segment of I Have Pregnancy Brain. So today I take Gypsy outside, but she's in heat. So like keep in mind that like we've been having diapers on her when she's like in the house and stuff. <sighs> she's in heat. I take her outside with her diaper on and she pees in her diaper because I forgot to take her diaper off and it's disgusting outside um if you can tell like gross like so disgusting so gross but yeah she peed in her last diaper so i'm at PetSmart to get more diapers because my super pregnancy brain was like oh i'll just take the dog outside i'm not gonna take her diaper off because that makes sense but anyway so i'm here today's pregnancy brain video i just filmed my baby names i won't be loving video and i literally talked about the name beck for like five minutes thinking that i was talking about the name breck and just had to edit that whole part out so yeah they don't even sound like beck and breck whatever beckett and call him beck which it's kind of funny I have this because on my last video I just posted the suggestions you guys gave me. You gave me the name Beck as a girl's name suggestion. So like if you guys are one of those people who don't like find out the gender, you could always like go with Beckett or Brecklin. You, if you guys are like one of those people who don't find out the gender at your ultrasound appointment, you could always go with Beckett or like, oh my God, this whole thing doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We're just gonna do this one over. All right, everyone, today's segment isn't necessarily a pregnancy brain story. It's just kind of a, okay, it's snowing outside, right? You know, disgusting, whatever. I don't understand why people forget how to drive in this stuff, okay? Like, literally, there's people parked at the front door of businesses because they don't want to park their car and walk inside. It's snowing. Just walk inside. There's people who forget how to drive on the road, like, either going, like, five miles an hour or going, like, 60, or they're just, like, turning in wrong lanes because there's snow on the ground. Like, I don't understand. Like, if you don't know how to drive in snow... Don't live in Missouri. Like, it snows in the wintertime. That's just my rant for the day because, like, I literally had a five-minute trip to PetSmart from my house. And literally, I have seen so many things that have just pissed me off. But I waited till I was parked in the PetSmart parking lot to make this video. Okay. And so, like, most of our family lives there. And I have, like, I have four siblings. And two of them will be in Springfield when like a little after she's born because they're both going to be cut that out pregnancy brain story of the day so ever since i like have gotten pregnant and like more so like probably recently i get the words new and new mixed up like i knew school was going to get canceled today and like i need a new pair of shoes like guys I've never in my whole life got those mixed up, but like the past, like, I don't know, like couple weeks or something, every time I like go to text it, I'm like, which one is it? <laughs> so yeah. Hey, welcome to another segment of Pregnancy Brain. So this morning I was getting ready for school and somehow I accidentally locked the door to Magnolia's room and... Like, that wouldn't, like, really seem like a big deal because, like, just fix it or whatever. But all of my clothes are in there because, like, in our bedroom, that's Kylo's closet. And in her room, that's my closet just because we both have, like, way too much stuff. But anyways, <laughs> all of my school clothes are in there. So, like, I found this. And, like, I've been debating all morning if it's brown or gray. But last time I wore this to school, only one person said something about it. 
so i'm hoping that nobody notices and if they do notice they're not like why are you wearing brown because like i feel like it's close enough to where like people aren't gonna question it but this is literally the only thing i can find to wear because i locked the door to the room where my clothes are at hey guys this isn't really a rant or a pregnancy brain story it's just kind of a story and i don't really have a current <laughs> vlog pose to put this in so i'm gonna put it in this one so to date this um today is the day that um basically everything shut down because of the coronavirus like the mlb is delayed they canceled march madness um the missouri misha tournament this weekend is now immediate family only like today is just the day that i just feel like corona is taking over so there's currently one case one case in missouri and it's in st louis and i just went to walmart literally to get dog food and the lady in front of me the only thing in her cart when she was checking out was an overflowing cart full of toilet paper and the guy like so i was in this self-checkout line the guy like parallel to me in the line over here the only thing in his car i counted was 20 cans of lysol and guys these are the like the only two people i saw because like i just walk into walmart i grab what i need and i go like i don't dilly dally around but i was just like thinking like 20 cans of lysol i don't think i've used that many cans in my entire life like i have no clue what this guy is gonna do with 20 cans of lysol but it was ridiculous and like i don't know like maybe by the time i make this video like the coronavirus will have been more serious than it is right now but it's just kind of getting kind of crazy in springfield traffic right now is really busy and the walmart parking lot like there literally wasn't even anywhere to park because there's so many people there just like stocking up on stuff but anyways that's just my interesting story is that i'm curious what you do with 20 cans of lysol please comment down below because i've literally been thinking of it unless you're buying it for like 20 different classrooms and you're like the principal or something i literally cannot come up with a reason you could justify buying that much lysol i i can't like i have no idea